Hi there, you two. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to show you the mess <sighs> that I make sometimes. <laughs> make in the evening in my kitchen where I try to practice guitar. Never mind that, that's not the topic of today's video. And sorry, no housekeeping and no pipe smoking today. I've smoked my share of haunted bookshop. Too much for me. That's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is I got well, my collector's dr dream just came to fruition. Uh, if someone is actually paying attention to my channel they might remember a couple of months back I participated in the giveaway I don't remember whose giveaway it was I'm afraid sorry uh, but the question asked and I filmed a VR to that the question was what is your dream pipe I filmed a video I named the pipe and what do you know I got it <laughs> Uh, sorry about the glare. I got this. <laughs> I probably I told this story a million times ago. Back in the day when the Lord of the Rings film trilogy was huge, uh, they were licensing uh, like crazy. They made a tabletop war game that's still it's it's still in production sporadically. Uh, they licensed uh, numerous board games, uh, video games, uh, merch, 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 and they licensed pipes. And they did good. They uh, <coughs> the agreement was made with Fawen, German manufacturer, and they produced a line of official replicas sorry about the flowers in the frame <laughs> uh, Fawen produced a line of official Lord of the Rings pipes replicas of the pipes smoked by the characters of the film trilogy uh, later on they uh, I don't remember either uh, I don't know either the agreement expired or New Line or Tolkien Enterprises uh, nullified it and uh, Fawen, being the creative types they are began making a line of very 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 similar pipes called the Onland. I have a pipe from this line it's an amazing pipe I did, I received it, I think, for my birthday. I haven't smoked it yet. Here it is. Great big church warden. Probably similar to Gandalf's pipe, in a way. But not a replica. And it doesn't say Lord of the Rings anywhere. It says Onland. On the pipe sock, for example. So, these pipes, the official replicas, they don't show up on eBay, like at all. I know one, one pipe that's a replica of Aragorn's pipe. It's, uh, I think, on German eBay currently, and it goes for something like... 500 euros, I think. And so it was like a dream. Uh, and I didn't expect to receive this pipe at all. Sorry, I have to make small calculations. And then suddenly, the store that's, uh, that I buy, I think the majority of. Um, pipes and pipe related products here in Moscow I s was browsing aimlessly through the store and I stumbled upon a news item that they have 
this thing in stock. As far as I understand, a single one. And, uh, <laughs> well, my I was hesitating for like five minutes. I told to my, said to myself, well, that's what credit cards are for. And I bought it. And it cost me something, I I'm just made a brief calculation, something like 200 bucks or uh, 170 pounds or 185 euros so it was a steal <laughs> let me show you properly that's an official Lord of the Rings pipe one smoked by Gimli the dwarf played by John Rhys Davies Here's the, first of all, the New Line Cinema logo. And it says, New Line Productions Incorporated, all rights reserved, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, and the names of the characters, events, items, and places therein are trademarks of the Soul Zanes Company, DBA Tolkien Enterprises, under license to New Line Productions Incorporated, all rights reserved. So that's the real deal. It's kind of beaten up a little bit. So I imagine this thing was in storage. I asked the the guy at the store how come they never stocked it and suddenly it showed up online. He says just came from the vaults. Lucky me. <laughs> Let me open that one. It looks like a they borrowed heavily from the... One moment. Sorry. You can see they borrowed heavily <laughs> from the... When they did the Outland series. They borrowed heavily from the original designs they had. But, this being a Lord of the Rings pipe, It comes with the uh, usual Fawen sort of candy. It says Aunland. Pipe cleaners, nothing fancy. The pipe sock says Lord of the Rings in German. It's <laughs> the pipe is consider considerably smaller because they, the sock is you know, one size fits all. And here it is. In sheer beauty. <laughs> like all Lord of the Rings pipes and the Unland subsequent uh, Unland series, it features a briar bowl. Mm, quite a sizable one, I must say. Carbonized. A stem made of wood ash. If, don't quote me on this one. And the neat feature is that it is, it's a filter pipe and the channel inside the mouthpiece is lined with acrylic, which makes it, supposedly makes it easier to clean. And the tip is also acrylic, sort of amber-like. This one also sports a sort of a brass or you know, yellow metal tip, because it's I think if we classify it, it's sort of a pickaxe, I think. Very suitable for a dwarf. And it's not... I always thought to myself that Gimli's pipe was one of the most... logical, <laughs> in a way, in Lord of, Lord of the Rings. It's not a full-sized long church warden, but it's just enough to keep the burning embers away from the beard. <laughs> won't open it. It says Lord of the Rings in German again. It says Fawen on the other side. It also says I cannot read it actually. It doesn't say new line, but there's another copyright I cannot 
I don't know what it is. But here it is. So me being a Tolkien, you know, freak, this is like a major acquisition. <laughs> it was, you know, almost like it, it was meant to be that way. <laughs> The big question, of course, now is, am I gonna smoke it, <laughs> really? Because it's a mint collector's piece, you know. <laughs> and I still haven't smoked the almond pipe, which is substantially larger. And the bowl is sort of curved inwards, so I... Me being un not careful, I'm sure I'm gonna char it. So I don't know. But I'm just incredibly lucky to get this piece. <laughs> Even if it if it ends up as just a collector's item on the shelf, you know. Who am I kidding? I'm, I'm gonna try to smoke it definitely. <laughs> but I'm me being based in Russia. this series being expired you know years ago and just having this this kind of item this kind of collector's piece basically given to me at a lower price i think you know compared to the price that they command now on the market i am incredibly incredibly lucky <laughs> Uh, I don't want to, don't want you people to get an impression that I'm bragging. I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, I, I, I s sincerely was gonna, uh, if there was another one, at least another one, present somewhere. Oh. Um, if they had another one in, in, if they had another one in the store, I, I would have bought the second one and either sold it or just given it away because there are so many Tolkien fans out there in the YTPC, like Professor Walker or Cobbett of the Shire. Sorry, folks, that's the only one. Yeah. Just so glad I got it. That's basically it. Sorry for the chaotic video. And sorry if it, if it came out like I'm bragging, but not really. Just wanted to show this to you and wanted you to. Share a, bit, share a little bit of my excitement. <laughs> Let me show you Gimli once more. Sorry for the glare. Ah. If anyone from Fawen is watching this, guys, thanks for you know putting this series out there. And that's it. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry it was so out there. Sorry I wasn't smoking. I'll be back real soon with another one of my new videos. Smoking a pipe and being a nice YTPC member. Until then, thanks for dropping by. See you people. Bye now. <laughs>